I began to be a daily drinker probably a couple months after graduating from college. And then in after a few years of that, my health declined, my physical and mental health declined. The time I went in to get um, medical care for an injury I sustained while I was drinking, my rate at drinking was causing um, my liver to slowly die. And I was, you know, relatively indifferent about that at the time because I, I just was not in a great spot. And I, I feel really weird saying that now, but I think it's, it illustrates the level of disconnect that you have with like your own body, even when you're in a relationship with a substance. And in my case, it was alcohol. I had just gotten this job that was really exciting and I loved it. And I was so, I thought the job would help me be sober. I thought that was going to be the turning point. And unfortunately, I could not uh, stop drinking and I would call in sick a lot. But eventually I had called in one too many times and they had to let me go. At the time, it was a really big wake up call for me. Like, okay, I just lost this amazing job and I literally cannot stop drinking. Um, and, you know, it, it took a little while, even after I had lost that job, a few more months before I finally um, reached my last date of drinking. I went into an inpatient rehab place I was there for 30 days. And so that gave enough time for me to be away from alcohol long enough to say, to take a step back and say, do I really want this for my life? Because at the time I didn't have enough moments in between the spaces of drinking to, to actually think about myself as a person. I was just kind of going through the motions. And so when I was able to have that space where alcohol wasn't available to me, it was hard and I wanted to leave often and I was very grumpy, but I stayed and I was able to learn that one of the foundational pieces of recovery for me and for many others, I believe uh, from my experience in talking with other people in recovery, is that you have to learn to love yourself first. And so when I finally started to do it for myself is when I was able to build up any amount of recovery time. After I have been in recovery, I still do health coaching with Blue Cross Blue Shield and um, Michigan. And I have found that the health coaches, I have the, the joy of sometimes speaking to different coaches and I have had only amazing coaches. And so I'm working on some um, other health related goals and they have been so lovely in helping me through goal setting and you know, working through the process of why this behavior might be happening and helping me access tools and resources. And so I have been really grateful for the health coaching team. I am so much more than just being a person in recovery. And that's what the Sober and Lansing group is trying to do is to give people a space to meet new people. And while we may talk about recovery or, you know, being sober or changing our relationship with a substance, we also are just trying to meet each other as humans, as community members, as neighbors, with people who have this shared value or lived experience.